a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs is a theory in psychology proposed by Abraham Maslow in his 1943 paper A Theory of Human Motivation in Psychological Review. Maslow subsequently extended the idea to include his observations of humans' innate curiosity. His theories parallel many other theories of human developmental psychology, some of which focus on describing the stages of growth in humans. Maslow used the terms physiological, safety, belonging and love, esteem, self-actualization, and self-transcendence to describe the pattern that human motivations generally move through. The goal of Maslow's theory is to attain the sixth level or stage, self-transcendent needs. Maslow studied what he called exemplary people such as Albert Einstein, Jane Addams, Eleanor Roosevelt, and Frederick Douglass rather than mentally ill or neurotic people, writing that, the study of crippled, stunted, immature, and unhealthy specimens can yield only a cripple psychology and a cripple philosophy. Maslow studied the healthiest 1% of the college student population. Maslow's theory was fully expressed in his 1954 book Motivation and Personality. The hierarchy remains a very popular framework in sociology research, management training and secondary and higher psychology instruction. Hierarchy Maslow's hierarchy of needs is often portrayed in the shape of a pyramid with the largest, most fundamental needs at the bottom and the need for self-actualization and self-transcendence at the top. The most fundamental and basic four layers of the pyramid contain what Maslow called deficiency needs, or D needs, esteem, friendship and love, security, and physical needs. If these deficiency needs are not met, with the exception of the most fundamental need there may not be a physical indication, but the individual will feel anxious and tense. Maslow's theory suggests that the most basic level of needs must be met before the individual will strongly desire the secondary or higher level needs. Maslow also coined the term meta-motivation to describe the motivation of people who go beyond the scope of the basic needs and strive for constant betterment. The human brain is a complex system and has parallel processes running at the same time. Thus many different motivations from various levels of Maslow's hierarchy can occur at the same time. Maslow spoke clearly about these levels and their satisfaction in terms such as relative, general, and primarily. Instead of stating that the individual focuses on a certain need at any given time, Maslow stated that a certain need dominates the human organism. Thus Maslow acknowledged the likelihood that the different levels of motivation could occur at any time in the human mind. But he focused on identifying the basic types of motivation and the order in which they would tend to be met. Physiological needs Physiological needs are the physical requirements for human survival. If these requirements are not met, the human body cannot function properly and will ultimately fail. Physiological needs are thought to be the most important. They should be met first. This is the first and basic need on the hierarchy of needs. Without them, the other needs cannot follow up. Physiological needs include Safety needs Once a person's physiological needs are relatively satisfied, their safety needs take precedence and dominate behavior. In the absence of physical safety due to war, natural disaster, family violence, childhood abuse, etc., people may experience post-traumatic stress disorder or transgenerational trauma. In the absence of economic safety due to economic crisis and lack of work opportunities these safety needs manifest themselves in ways such as a preference for job security, grievance procedures, for protecting the individual from unilateral authority, savings accounts, insurance policies, disability accommodations, etc. This level is more likely to predominate in children as they generally have a greater need to feel safe. Safety and security needs include Social belonging After physiological and safety needs are fulfilled, 
The third level of human needs is interpersonal and involves feelings of belongingness. This need is especially strong in childhood and it can override the need for safety as witnessed in children who cling to abusive parents. Deficiencies within this level of Maslow's hierarchy due to hospitalism, neglect, shunning, ostracism, etc., can adversely affect the individual's ability to form and maintain emotionally significant relationships in general. Social belonging needs include, according to Maslow, humans need to feel a sense of belonging and acceptance among social groups, regardless whether these groups are large or small. For example, some large social groups may include clubs, co-workers, religious groups, professional organizations, sports teams, gangs, and online communities. Some examples of small social connections include family members, intimate partners, mentors, colleagues, and confidants. Humans need to love and be loved both sexually and non-sexually by others. Many people become susceptible to loneliness, social anxiety, and clinical depression in the absence of this love or belonging element. This need for belonging may overcome the physiological and security needs, depending on the strength of the peer pressure. Esteem Esteem needs or ego needs or status needs develop a concern with getting recognition, status, importance, and respect from others. All humans have a need to feel respected. This includes the need to have self-esteem and self-respect. Esteem presents the typical human desire to be accepted and valued by others. People often engage in a profession or hobby to gain recognition. These activities give the person a sense of contribution or value. Low self-esteem or an inferiority complex may result from imbalances. During this level in the hierarchy, people with low self-esteem often need respect from others. They may feel the need to seek fame or glory. However, fame or glory will not help the person to build their self-esteem until they accept who they are internally. Psychological imbalances such as depression can hinder the person from obtaining a higher level of self-esteem or self-respect. Most people have a need for stable self-respect and self-esteem. Maslow noted two versions of esteem needs, a lower version and a higher version. The lower version of esteem is the need for respect from others. This may include a need for status, recognition, fame, prestige, and attention. The higher version manifests itself as the need for self-respect. For example, the person may have a need for strength, competence, mastery, self-confidence, independence, and freedom. This higher version takes precedence over the lower version because it relies on an inner competence established through experience. Deprivation of these needs may lead to an inferiority complex, weakness, helplessness etc. Maslow states that while he originally thought the needs of humans had strict guidelines, the hierarchies are interrelated rather than sharply separated. This means that esteem and the subsequent levels are not strictly separated. Instead, the levels are closely related. Self-actualization what a man can be, he must be. This quotation forms the basis of the perceived need for self-actualization. This level of need refers to what a person's full potential is in the realization of that potential. Maslow describes this level as the desire to accomplish everything that one can to become the most that one can be. Individuals may perceive or focus on this need very specifically. For example, one individual may have the strong desire to become an ideal parent. In another, the desire may be expressed athletically. For others, it may be expressed in paintings, pictures, or inventions. As previously mentioned, Maslow believed that to understand this level of need, the person must not only achieve the previous needs, but master them. Self-transcendence In his later years, Abraham Maslow explored a further dimension of needs, while criticizing his own vision on self-actualization. By this later theory, the self only finds its actualization in giving itself to some higher outside goal, in altruism and spirituality. He equated this with the desire to reach the infinite. Transcendence refers to the very highest and most inclusive, or holistic levels of human consciousness, behaving and relating, as ends rather than means, to oneself, to significant others, to human beings in general, to other species, to nature, and to the cosmos. Application to nursing Nurses can apply Maslow's hierarchy of basic needs in the assessment, planning, 
implementation, and evaluation of patient care. It helps the nurse identify unmet needs as they become healthcare needs, and allows the nurse to locate the patient on a health illness continuum, and to incorporate the human dimensions and health models into meeting needs. The Human Dimensions and Basic Human Needs All basic human needs are interrelated and may require nursing actions at more than one level at a given time. For example, in caring, for a person coming into the emergency department with a heart attack, the nurse's immediate concern in the patient's physiologic needs. At the same time, safety needs and love and belonging needs are still major considerations. Research Recent research appears to validate the existence of universal human needs, although the hierarchy proposed by Maslow is called into question. Following World War II, the unmet needs of homeless and orphaned children presented difficulties that were often addressed. With the help of attachment theory, which was initially based on Maslow and others' developmental psychology work by John Bowlby, originally dealing primarily with maternal deprivation and concordant losses of essential and primal needs, attachment theory has since been extended to provide explanations of nearly all the human needs in Maslow's hierarchy, from sustenance and mating to group membership and justice global ranking. In their extensive review of research based on Maslow's theory, Waber and Bridwell found little evidence for the ranking of needs that Maslow described or for the existence of a definite hierarchy at all. The order in which the hierarchy is ranged has been criticized as being ethnocentric by Gerd Hofstede. Maslow's hierarchy of needs fails to illustrate and expand upon the difference between the social and intellectual needs of those raised in individualistic societies and those raised in collectivist societies. The needs and drives of those in individualistic societies tend to be more self-centered than those in collectivist societies, focusing on improvement of the self, with self-actualization being the apex of self-improvement. In collectivist societies, the needs of acceptance and community will outweigh the needs for freedom and individuality. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries would you like to know more?